Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have a whole bunch of new knives to check out for the week. Starting it off, we have the new Tecto A5 Spry. Yeah, A5 Spry. Now, this comes in three different blade shapes, the dagger, the tanto, and a drop point, I think, or some other blade shape. Um, this one is the double-edged dagger, so it is sharpened on both ends. And... I gotta say, you know, I've been impressed with Tecto's OTFs. Uh, one of the, probably the toughest OTF I personally own is their Humvee series. That is, man, it's just super robust, super tough. Um, now these are, you can see there is an American flag there. So these are hand put to, uh, hand assembled and probably tuned and maybe a couple parts made here. Um, but if it's like everything else from Tecto or <clears throat> most of everything else that I know of, um, the parts are made overseas, shipped here, and they assemble them, tune them, and do any, you know, adjustments or anything. Um, so it uh, allows, just like a lot of companies, you know, um, they can say it's USA made as long as 51% is done here. 51% of the work is done here. Um, in fact, a lot of the knives that you uh, buy that are USA made are like that, unless if it says 100% USA made. In that case, then it has to be 100%. But the firing... Uh, button is really well jimped. You can see there's two different types of jimping. So you have launching jipping and then retracting jipping. And I actually kind of like the two different textures because this texture here, how grippy it is and how high the ramp goes, allows me to do it with my pointer finger with ease. Now it still has a nice strong spring, but because of the gripping, because of all the leverage you have, it, it launches really, really good. The aluminum handle, so this is an aluminum handle with S35 VM blade steel, I should have said that. The 61T6 aluminum, and you can see the micro milling in the handle. And then it has some jimping down here. A nice little ceramic glass breaker in the back that doesn't annoy me at all. I just, I don't like them when they put, when they're pokey and this, I could even cap off and it's not pokey. So, uh, all in all, super solid, uh, very, very little rattle or tap, um, about as much as you can expect from any, uh, microtech or anything like that. I will say the Humvee was also one of the most solid OTFs I've tried, you know, obviously like Hawk. You know, they, they make the most solid OTFs. But as far as, you know, aside from that, it uh, it was the most solid one that I had I have felt. Um, but anyways, really cool deep carry clip that is uh, reversible. And, you know, like I said, this thing fires really good. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. And the geometry is not ridiculous. It is another thing I appreciate. I could actually cut with this. Now, I'm not saying it's super thin, but it's not as robust as maybe some are. So, very cool. Next is the Best Tech TARDIS. And I gotta say, this kind of reminds me of that RR design. Um, I think it's the RR station. Um, this is so redunculously smooth. That's the first thing you notice right away. This thing is frictionless and is an absolute guillotine. It is so, so smooth. It almost feels like there's like just nothing there, like it's just air. Um, yeah, it is very solid in the locked up position. The thumb studs are nice and proud. I like that they're nicely jimped around the edges. They offer a lot of traction, great press point. That was my fault. Great press point for the detent. Solid detent too. You can reverse flick it or thumb flick it or roll it. And then you have the fuller that you can reverse flick. Now, this blade shape, you know, it kind of looks like the front end of a train to me. I'm not sure how much, I mean, it'll be useful because you can use this, you know, as a utility cutter. You can use the rest of the blade as a slicer. The ergonomics are really good. It'll cut backwards. So actually, I see this being a pretty functional tool. You know, maybe if the tip was a little slightly more proud, it'd be better for utility cuts, but this is gonna do 90% of everything really, really well, like, and you know, excel. Um, the deep carry clip is not in set or it is in set, but it has these button screws. It's not reversible. Good access to the lock bar. Like I already said, ridiculously smooth. Um, no, this is not a front flipper. Of course you can probably do it, but I don't think it's intended to be a front flipper, but 
I'm obviously doing it just fine. But it just doesn't seem like that was the intention, even though you can do it. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of a poon up there. Not much, but uh, but it's pretty cool, though. Um, I like the color scheme. Um, Ho-Stop o -stop Hell Design. Um, I've had tons of his designs on the channel. Um, always happy to see them. It does have inset liners on both sides, which is really cool. So they're nice and hidden. And, uh, you know, I can feel it's blade heavy, you know, but, uh, but it's rather lightweight, you know, all in all, considering the size and everything. Pretty cool. Um, what was the blade steel on this? Actually, I don't think I've seen that. D2. D2 blade steel. Very cool. Let's check out the next one. The next one is the Null Knives Raikou. Now, the Raikou does have some little changes being done. Um, you know, in that case, I'm not going to do a full review or anything uh, because, you know, this is just a prototype and, you know, there's uh, a bunch of ch little changes being made. You know, I'll give my little uh, nitpicks um, aside from the things that will be changed. Um, but, for the most part, the things that are going to be changed don't really bother me. But let's just check it out, though. We have a beautiful harpoon. Sorry, I've been using it. Harpoon sheep's foot blade shape with S90V. Beautiful satin finish. Beautiful swedge. That's one thing that's going to be changed. It's going to be thinned out right here. I believe the grind is going to be thinned out a little bit as well. Uh, the thumb stud is going to be center placed, which I don't know... I think that would put it closer to the scales. I will say this, these, are, this has amazing thumb stud action. When I think of a really good thumb stud action, I think of a thumb stud I can do this with. So it's almost just like a, like a clicking a button where I'm kind of pulling with this finger and pushing with this finger like that. And that's the way these thumb studs are. I'm pulling down with this finger, pushing up with my thumb, and it just cranks out there. You can also reverse flick it, and you also have the fuller that you can reverse flick off of. So it's actually very fidgety, and it has a really nice sound when it locks up. It has a titanium frame lock handle. I love this pattern or texture on the pivot on both sides. It's actually very grippy like sandpaper. I love it. Titanium mill pocket clip. But they are going to kind of position this a little bit differently. Um, it doesn't bother my hand, but I guess, you know, they're having a little bit of issues. So they're going to just adjust it just a little tiny bit to sit nestled in your palm just a little bit more. Uh, no complaints with that. Uh, TA hardware all the way around. Love to see that. Titanium backspacer. You can see the name inside of it. Um, access to the lock bar could be better, but it does have some jimping or some traction right there. It's kind of like the same traction that's right here on the pivot that I really like. So I like the lock bar and it is, uh, you know, it's not uncomfortable. It works decently well. Um, I usually prefer a little bit more access, but, uh, but it's still fine though. They chamfered this edge and this edge, so it still works. I, I just really like coming from the side, but you know, it's good. It's good. Um, all in all, super solid, great size, slim, somewhat slim. It's like in the happy medium category for slimness. Um, you can easily cut backwards. Utility cuts are going to be phenomenal. Slicing is going to be amazing and it has a really good look to it. You know, I do believe Riyadh is still doing the OEM work. Um, I will put together all the information that I have, you know, just in case if I missed anything that's going to be changed on it, because like I said, this is a prototype. So you'll be looking at everything on the screen if you want to kind of go through it. Um, it's pretty cool. And, um, and yeah, I, I'm always excited to check out what Nulls and Eyes has because they do a really good job. They got, man, they do some incredible work. I don't know if there's been one yet that hasn't been just an absolute banger. Um, at least I can't think of it on top of my head. Um, but really, really cool. I do like that one quite a bit. Let's check out the next one. So the next one is a pre-order knife as well, and it happens to be a model I literally just featured on the channel saying that I, or why I wasn't showing it on the channel anymore. And it was, wasn't anything to do with the knife. It just was that they were not obtainable. But now a pre-order is open, so you can get them. They will be delivered in January, so it doesn't. it's not even going to be that long. And what he did was a small and a large. So this was 3.5 inches. 
This is 3.25 inches. This is 3.7. This is mine. These are the ones that are going to be available. Now there's going to be some little changes. Um, so he's going to do a stronger detent, which this thing already has a super solid detent. I'll say this right here, right now, the exact way it is, these things are phenomenal. Perfection. Um, he's going to do a flattened detent ball. The tip will be out slightly in the closed position. So right here, we'll bump up a little bit. So it'll sit more like, like that maybe or something. Um, just a little bit higher. On the small knife, the tip of the clip, the tip of the clip will point more towards the scale screw. Okay, so it's going to turn a little bit. Personally, it doesn't bother me in the hand. Maybe it's something to do with the pocket, but it's just going to kink it a little bit. Uh, no big deal. And then the jimping on the back spacer will be revised. I didn't like the way they come out, he said. So just some different jimping. Now, as far as the stronger detent, I'm kind of happy that he's saying that, but not because the detent is light. Just because if he was so picky that this was a detent he wanted something changed on, <laughs> Wow. You know, that means he's very picky about his detent, which I, I appreciate. I appreciate a good, you know, a, a phenomenal detent. And this thing has a great detent. So to say I need it better than this, wow. Wow. That's awesome. Um, but let's talk about it. We have the dual ground drop point blade. This is the 3.7 inch version. We have a bolster lock. This one has the carbon fiber, but there is different versions. This one's M390. There is damascus steel ones and then different, you know, versions. So depending on which version you get depends on how much money it'll cost. But like I said, they will, they should be filled in January. Now I will say for a small knife, 3.25 inch blade, this is still a full size knife. Look at this. 100% full grip. I think this is going to be a pretty popular size because this is what most people carry as a full size pocket knife. It's already without even choking up. It's a full, you know, I get a full comfortable grip that I could bear down on. I can always choke up tighter. Um, the access to the lock bar is better than my original one. So that was one thing that I was hoping that he would do because I, that's one complaint I have on mine is I wish the lock bar access was just a little bit better. And he did it on this one. Why couldn't he do it on the last one? I don't know, but he did it on this one. Um, the thumb stud action is really, really good. Detent is tuned very well for both of them. Same um, access to this one. Man, yeah, these are so good. Not only are they good looking, but you can just see these are useful tools. These are high high quality, high end functional tools that look good. It's a knife that you could take out of your pocket and be proud to take out. You know, it's something that you can literally hand to just about any knife guy and they're going to be impressed. That's how this knife is. And that's what I appreciate about it. Now, one thing I would love to see him do in the future. So this is just me talking. It has nothing to do with these knives. I would love to see him do one with a tip that lines center with the pivot. Like it doesn't have to be a spear point, but a drop point that has a lower tip drop point or a spear point. Because when you line up a tip center with the pivot, they do utility cut so much better. Not that these are bad, these are just fine. You can see I have tons of leverage down into the tip, but I'd even have more leverage if it was right there. So it just allows you to have a little bit better tip access and you know precision. Um, you know, other than that, you know, like I think these things are damn near a perfect knife. Um, yeah, yeah, damn near a perfect knife, if not a perfect knife. Um, I could almost say that this, this is damn near a perfect knife, if not perfect. So very cool, very, very cool. Uh, definitely check out Varga Knives if you want to pre-order one. I also really like the micarta. Um, I think he's, he's doing different fat carbons and stuff like that. So the next knife is actually from, let me pull it out. The next knife is from Monthly Knife Club. So we have a knife from Monthly Knife Club. Now I will say, this is a good one. This is a good one because check this out. On their site, which is the only place you can get it, it is like $180. And I always said, I don't think it's worth $180. I think, you know, it should be less, but it's such a great knife that I was still recommending it because it is really, really good. 
So it is the Real Steel Luna Mayas. So it's a large Luna in titanium with beautiful micro milling. And it has a fuller on it, or you can put the thumb stud on it just so you can see one with a thumb stud. So you can slip this on or off. So if you're in a place where you have to have a two hand opening knife, this is great because you can also add the thumb stud and make it a one hand opening knife. Now I will say if you're really good, you can reverse flick this even off the fuller without that. So that's another thing. If you're talented at reverse flicking and you live in a country where you have to have a two hand opening knife, nobody will suspect that you could wrist or you that you could uh, reverse flick this. It does have tension on it. Nobody else will be able to do it, especially at not, you know, see how I still failed it, but I can do it every time with just a tiny, tiny bit of wrist. So this is pretty cool. Um, and the titanium's done very well. We have a titanium clip and steel back lock. And then I believe the stud is titanium. And then the steel is N690. Now that's the one thing that I think some people are gonna complain about, especially for this price. But for this price, I think this is good. N690 titanium, um, yeah, uh, poltergeist design. And you know, it, like I said, it's done very, very well. So, and you can close it one-handed. I forgot to say that. You can get down here by the lock, put your finger up there, toss it forward, let it hit your finger. It's super easy. I can do it with my thumb, a thumb roll like this. Ooh. So there's a lot going on here for a knife that's meant for two hands. So I think that this is um, a great one because there's so many guys in places like I think the UK and other places where they can't have, maybe they can't have knives at all. I don't know. But where they can't have locking, or sorry, not lock knives, one hand opening knives. So this kind of, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but it, it kind of, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a one hand opening knife that has some tricks up its sleeve. Let's just say that. And for the 120 bucks, not too shabby. I think it's a pretty good one. So yeah, this is definitely a box from them that I think is awesome. Um, and I'm happy that now I can link it for an actual reasonable price rather than, well, you know, if you get into their monthly plan, I should have said that already. So just so you know, I'm sure you guys do know, but the monthly knife club is a subscription based, uh, thing where you get a package every month with different EDC gear, including a knife and there's a premium or a, a regular tier. So depending on which tier you get will depend on the amount of items and the items that you get. So if you want to check them out and you want to get random monthly packages, um, that uh, you won't know what's coming until it gets there, definitely check out Monthly Knife Club. It's pretty, it, it is pretty cool, you know. There are some times where it's like, you know, I, I, you know, I would have spent my money on something else, but there's also other times where it's like, you get such a good deal. Like the one time, it was the, the drop bear in LC200N right at the time when nobody could get that one. So anyways, really, really cool. And just so you can see all the information on that knife if you're curious last last is the tempest knives jet stream now the jet stream i don't think is going to be available anymore or at least it's not available now i just figured i would show it really quick he does have some micro bursts available on his site tempest knives which is knives fast from youtube um so if you want to go check out his youtube channel and um you know, check out his YouTube channel and site. Um, beautiful drop point blade and D2 steel. Phenomenal access to the lock bar. This thing is a fidgeter's beast. Oh my goodness. I can't stop picking this thing up and playing with it. And then listen to the sound. I love the sound of this thing. Very easy to reverse flick. You can reverse flick it with just about any finger. Like pinky, pinky action. Thumb flicking, this thing's super fidgety. And the ergonomics are really, really well. He did a really good job with this design. I gotta say, he did a great job with this one. Um, now I do have one little negative that I'm gonna bring up really quick. And that is, you wanna be careful with this lock bar. So what I was doing was I was going like this and it was coming down and it was hitting me, but I didn't realize until, cause it was slowly getting into my thumb and then finally got all the way through. 
and uh, you know, it gave me a decent cut. Um, I've had that happen with other knives before. It was just me not paying attention. So what you want to do is turn your nail up so it hits your nail right there like that, or just catch it before it hits you, which is really easy to do. That's kind of the way I do it now. Just kind of let it hit right there. But you just don't want to let it hit your finger with your skin facing up right there. Um, not a big deal though. The flipper tab, nicely jimped, really, really good action. Great detent, uh, good geometry, a titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer with a hidden lanyard pin. The, the scales are semi-contoured, so they're almost near flat, but they are, it seems, feels like they're semi-contoured. Um, it might be just chamfered edges, but either way, it is mega, mega comfortable. Yeah, this is a good one, and it's going to be really good for lefties as well, and it does have a reversible clip, so, yep. Anyways, like I said, I don't think these are available anymore, but I figured I'd show it, you know, and talk about it. If you guys have one, you know, at least, uh, you know, I can tell you how awesome your knife is. Uh, I really like the pivot too. That's a really cool pivot. Looks like a, um, a wheel off of a car. Anyways, so um, check out his site. Cause like I said, he does have some other models available right now. I think the micro burst or something, but work hard, stay tough. You know, society's relying on you until next time. Peace.